weather out here is super ugly today, which I guess makes sense because we've had such a awesome, like, weather experience for the past, like, three days. So Ohio's got to make us pay for it because that's how Ohio operates in case any of you don't live in Ohio. We have really nice weather and then we suffer because of it. <laughs> um, good morning. It is a Thursday. Um, heading into work like usual. Uh, I haven't been vlogging very much out at, at home or any other time. I need to work on that. Um, I got my training in last night, which was a uh, super, super unmotivated workout. Um, and the reason why it was an unmotivated workout was because before I commenced to the gym, I had to have a very not so pleasant conversation with my older daughters. Um, it's those conversations as a parent that you loathe, that you, you don't want to, but you have to because it's, you're a parent, it's your job. Um, and then with all the school problems that have been occurring uh, around the states, uh, our schools have been preemptively working on evacuation processes and um, intruder processes, the, the things that the teachers and the students are supposed to carry out and or do in case of a shooting or a, a threat of any kind. So I had to sit down last night and I had to have a conversation with them is really, really hard about what exactly is going on, why it is going on, and to kind of touch base and get an idea of what they know and try to set the record straight if they don't have the right information. Um... I'm not trying to tell anyone how to parent, but if you have school-age children and they're old enough, I'm going to say old enough because, like, of, of course you're not going to talk to a kindergartner about this stuff, but uh, if they are old enough to understand what is going on around them, you should talk to them. Um find out what they know, um, make sure that they n know the right stuff, and what I mean by know the right stuff, it's really, really difficult to gauge what kids learn through word of mouth from other kids, and until you actually talk to them about it, um, because kids translate things differently than adults do, obviously, they don't have the same understandings, the same concept holdings that we have. So kids are a lot more prone to get uh, confused, I guess you should say, I, I could say, uh, about what is actually going on versus what Danny or David or Emily or whoever, what they said on the part, you know, in the playground. So, if you have not talked to your children, and they are school age, old enough to understand what is going on around them, I suggest you do so. Um, last night, unfortunately, I learned that my kids have a better sense of the stupid stuff going on in the world than what I thought they did. Uh, it's not a comforting fact, it's not a fun fact, I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. Um, so 
so we sat down last night and we kind of went through why they're going through these motions that they're going through, why they're learning evacuations, what that means, what that stands for, and how they should be responding while doing so. Um, first off, I'm going to say this. Uh, your kids know more than what you like. Because my kids knew more than what I liked. <laughs> you, you as a parent, try your best to shelter them away from what's going on out in the real world. And you're supposed to. Like, the ugly uglies, they don't need to know the ugly uglies. They're, they're kids. They're not supposed to get the image of what how ugly the world really is, right? Because that hurts the childhood. But, at the same time, you can't not give them any information because then you leave your kid defenseless. So, you have to talk to them about it, whether you want to or not. Um, something I feel like generally all parents need to work on, including myself. I don't spend enough time engaging my kids on an intellectual level. I've got no problem talking to them about dumb stuff. I've got no problem talking to them about, like, the cartoon show or the kids show that they've been watching on Disney that they like that has this stupid or quirky or funny storyline. But I never engage with them on an intellectual level, and I feel like we we really don't do that as parents these days, and I don't know why. Um, some of you out there might, I don't know. Again, not judging, because I don't know. I don't know what your home dynamic looks like, how your relationship with your kids are, so don't take this out of context like I'm instantly casting, you know, judgment or ideal on you, because I'm not, but I just, I know my friends, like, my really close friends, um, people I work with, those kind of things, I see that, like, the intellectual conversations with kids kind of go to the wayside of things, because... We don't want them to know too much. The problem is now, though, we live in a world where information is so readily available that it makes it very hard to have them not know things. Um, a friend of mine reached out on one of my Facebook posts from last night and said that her four-year-old daughter was concerned, was worried about the bad guys coming into her school. That shows you how, like, available and out there information really is. When a four-year-old can connect. So, maybe the key to solving some of the problems that we're having with our kids, maybe the key is talking to them. Um, talking to them on, a, on an intellectual level. Not talking to them as in, you know, the normal cartoon conversations. But actually talking to them. Finding out what they know. Finding out what their teachers are telling them. What they're hearing at school from their friends. And then kind of steering it. Right? Because that's our job as parents. Like, the way I look at my house, I look at my house like a, like, like it's a ship. I do. I look at my house like it's a ship. I am the captain of my ship. I am responsible for guiding my ship through the, the rough seas of life. So, I kind of try to conduct myself in that way. I try to steer my kids in the right directions. I try to give them a compass 
to the right ways and the wrong ways and how to avoid the wrong ways and how to get to the right ways. I, I do my best to uh, operate my house like that. <clears throat> and maybe we all need to. Maybe we all need to take that role more seriously, too. Like, I know... I get the attitude from my dad. Like, that, uh, you're a kid, what do you know, kind of deal. Last night, though, sobered me up to the real, real reality that my kids know a lot more than what I think they do and a lot more than what I want them to know. So maybe the attitude of your their their kids, what do they know? I guess that that is a passe thing, you know? Um, we grew up in a whole different world than these kids do. You know, when, when we were kids... We didn't have the concerns or problems or worries that they have today. Um, a lot of us have a really hard time grasping that. Uh, a lot of us have a hard time, like, actually getting the understanding that, look, these kids are going through more, dealing with more, seeing, hearing, and feeling more than what we did when we were kids. Um, just because when we... It's human nature. We relate our own experiences to the experiences of our children. But they're not the same. Um, obviously. You know, when I was in school, gun shootings weren't really a thing until Columbine, which Columbine, I believe, happened my sophomore... I don't remember. It was when I was in high school. I know that much. And it was a complete and absolute shock to hear something like that happening when I was a kid. And yeah, I consider high school kids, you're still a kid. Um, you're a kid all the way until, like, my personal opinion. Uh, not talking legal stance. Legal stance, you're, you know, you're an adult. You're a full-grown adult at age 21, because that's when you no longer have any legal restrictions, but, oh, no such, but, uh, I feel like these kids are more educated, more well-rounded, more informed than we ever were when we were kids. So... I'm just saying, maybe, maybe it's time we start taking what they've got to say to heart, start actually listening and paying closer attention to what's going on in their day. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I know it's hard. I know as an adult, it is rough. It's really, really hard because you've got so many different ways and directions are being pulled, but like I've said before in past videos, nobody's going to raise your kids but you. Nobody's going to love them, care for them, watch out for them, nurture them, feed them, then you will. Um, so I feel like it's more of a responsibility factor. But not just responsibility. It's kind of our duty. It's kind of what we're called to do. Um, I feel like at times, I, I think... <laughs> and, and, you know, I'm not trying to bring God up into this conversation, but I feel at times that whole honor thy mother and father thing... I feel like that needs to be flipped every now and again. Like, honor your kids. Um, respect your kids. Love your kids. Be there for your kids. Um, a relative of mine, really, really close relative of mine, someone I love very much, she's an amazing person, 
<clears throat> she posted on her Facebook a couple nights ago, <laughs> which I thought was entertaining. It was like, I, I think it was right after the Florida thing. Um, said something to the effect. It was like 11 o'clock at night or something like that. Uh, hey, parents, exclamation point, get off Facebook and go parent. Um, I'm not attacking social media, and I don't believe that that was her direction either. I think her direction is more along the lines of, look, your kids need you. Go do that. <laughs> so I guess the, the, the conversation piece I want to take away from this video, we need to talk to our kids more. We need to love our kids more. We need to just be there more than what we already are. And if you're given 100%, that's amazing. Keep going. If you feel like you can work on or improve upon, do it. Um, they need us. Especially right now, they need us. This rain is causing me to snuffle. I'm going to close this video. Is it meant like 16 and a half minutes now? <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday. Be safe. I love you all. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I don't normally plug that uh, because my outro plugs that, but. I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. I hope you guys get good content out of them. I hope that I can be a help or a blessing or a, at least a good word of advice to some of you out there. Um, we got to be more positive in this world. It's the only way we're going to be able to win. Uh, tell us your rope.